the TV presenter didn't ever think the Check Plus Change Choir would top the iTunes chart. Television presenter Lorraine Kelly didn't ever think a song from the Check Plus Change Choir would momentarily overtake the Beatles in the chart. The track, titled Golden, features Grammy-winning singer Joss Stone along with the choir. Check Plus Change is made up of 20 women who were prompted to get checked and found breast cancer signs after seeing a campaign on ITV's Lorraine. The TV presenter appeared at Westminster to tell MPs about the campaign and get boobs on the Manny Breast O. The campaign was founded by Lorraine producer and cancer survivor Helen Addis. Kelly told the PA News Agency, We want to get all of the MPs to support our Change and Check campaign which is all down to Helen. Anis, Helen is our producer, she had breast cancer and you came up with the whole idea. She continued, we're very excited because we just heard that our single is number one on iTunes and who is number two, the Beatles. It's brilliant and this choir is amazing because it's a choir made up of all the women whose lives have been saved by the Change and Check campaign. Anis told PA, they contacted us because they saw our campaign on the Lorraine show, they checked themselves, they found their breast cancer early and that's the key, the majority of them are under the screening age so that's really important that we get the message out. I never thought that it would be my boobs that would get me to number one, but they've done it. The single was released as part of the fifth year of Kelly's Change Plus Check campaign to raise awareness of the signs and symptoms of the condition, and encourage women to have their breasts examined. Dr. Hilary Jones told PA, the campaign is making a huge difference it already has, we know that you too and the program has saved lives already and many more to come. Profits from downloads of the single will go towards the breast cancer charity Future Dreams. Kelly's visit to Westminster will air on ITV's Lorraine on Tuesday morning.